Evening everyone, Zillion here with XCOM, Enemy Unknown. So, this was what someone, at least one person voted. This is what one person voted for, uh, for me to play next. And I figured I would do this in the evening, because that's when I was doing XCOM 2. And I moved Ghost of a Tale to the morning, because I'm going to do that instead of Necropolis while I wait for Necropolis. It's going to have a big patch to come out. Um, so this is the first mission. It's probably not going to be too long, but it's just how it starts. We just have to go and shoot some aliens, right in the face. Um, I turned on all of the second wave options just to see what happens. Um, so that is, let's see, we've got... Hang on, I'm trying to remember what those do. Oh, damage roulette, so the weapon damage is more varied. Um, you are free to engage all new economy means the, the countries, the amount of resources you get from each country is randomized, so it's not the same. Uh, when you play, we've got Red Mist, which means when your guys get wounded, they get like serious penalties for the rest of the mission. That one's bad. Um, guaranteed criticals. If you you are if you're not in cover or if you're being flanked, the person shooting at you gets a guaranteed critical. And some other stuff that I can't quite remember. Marathon. The game's gonna last longer. Um, something about psionics. I think I can't remember. There's a bunch of them. I just clicked all of them just for shits and giggles. Alright, let's get started. Who we got here? Bob Palmer. Alright, Mr. Palmer. Get your butt over here. Get in cover. Uh, okay, where are we? Um, unfortunately, because this is uh, Enemy Unknown, the map selection, unlike uh, XCOM 2, is not going to be... I think the maps in XCOM 2 are... They're either randomly generated, or they have a much larger pool to work with. Um, but they don't have that in this game. Unfortunately. Uh, we will kind of be seeing a lot of the same maps over and over again. Okay. I'm just gonna move carefully up. Until we find some aliens. Fortunately, there's very few timed missions in this, so I can be a bit more careful. Also... I feel like the aliens in this game, the enemies scale a lot better, like, it's not, you're not running into enemies that are, like, completely wrecking you really early on. I've got a visual. Yes, hello. And I think, I think the difficulty curve is a lot better, just in general. Hello? Alright, they've got a line of sight, apparently. Yep. Alright, let's, uh, you can dash up to heavy cover, or you can move up a little bit. Also, all of the cars in Enemy Unknown, all of the cars are made of, like, C4. They explode just constantly. Like, I'm not joking. They're gonna... You're gonna see a lot of cars are just gonna be lighting on fire just all the time. Alright, so first mission, this is like... It would be the tutorial mission had I not turned the tutorial off, because I've already played this game a bunch, I don't need to go through the tutorial. Um, it's just like four sectoids, I think. These are the XCOM enemy unknown sectoids who are basically useless. And the only mind power they get is that they can, like, buff each other slightly. Um, which is actually kind of hilarious, because what will happen is they'll buff each other, and then if you kill the one that's doing the buffing, the one that's getting buffed also dies. You hit the car behind her. Nope, alright, cool. If you'd hit the car behind her, the car behind her would be on fire, and I'd have to, like, run the fuck away, because she'd be in serious danger. Alright, we're just gonna keep hopping our way forward here. See if we can't get close enough to one of these bastards to take them out. Uh, hmm. You are not actually in a supremely great spot. What else we got? I might just have you guys go through this door over here. Real quick. I can already tell I'm going to miss some of the quality of life changes from XCOM 2. There were there were some good quality of life changes in XCOM 2 that I'm definitely going to miss for this, but um, they're not terrible. Oh, I have the action cam turn on. Ah, whatever. It's no big deal. 55% is pretty good. One, <laughs> one damage. Yeah, that's damage roulette for you. You're going to watch. Alright, you guys probably go inside just in case, because you're currently not in a fantastic spot. Okay, good, we didn't run into any aliens. 
I'll leave the two out here to deal with the two sectoids that are out here. Okay, so there's one guy buffing him from behind the car back there. Who I'm probably not going to be able to reach because he's well, well out of the way. Whoa, friendo. Also, sometimes uh, this game has this weird thing where sometimes the animations don't actually match up. Like, you'll get the uh, someone missed thing when the bullets are clearly hitting them, and it's kind of funny to watch. Two damage. Alright, we're getting there. We're just going to sit here having a gunfight with this dude. 35% is not fantastic. Uh, hmm. It would be in my interest to try and get a flank on him, but that would also put me at risk. I think we'll just keep... Uh, yeah, we'll just keep holding him in place while we wait for these guys to be able to move in a little bit better. Through the door. Also, there's no concealment in this game, so you don't have to worry about, like, booting doors open and shit. Technically speaking, it makes noise that the aliens can hear, but it's not, like, a major issue or anything, like... It's nothing huge. Alright, uh, you can just double move, because I want you to be caught up. You can overwatch. We have grenades, but, uh... It's best not to use grenades in this one unless you have to, because they can... Um, they can cause problems. Because you don't get the alien corpses back if you grenade them. Yeah, see, sectoids are kind of useless. Which, you know, I'm perfectly okay with. Pew, 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 pew. Alright, now you guys need to move up a little bit. Oh, there's also, um... One of the ones that I think... One of the ones that I enabled was the... Um, the closer you get to flanking someone, the more chance you have to hit of hitting him. So, like, you see, he has less hit chance than he does, even though they're both about the same distance, because this guy's on a better angle to shoot. Okay, so now we've got two people with 55% hit chance, which is good. You can overwatch. You can shoot. Pew, 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 pew. Or she could just flat kill him. That works, too. Uh, Alright. Their weapons appear to oh, self-destruct when the operator I'll dies. Handle that after we this should episode. look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our I own development that. programs. My apologies. Okay, uh, am I back in control? Yeah, it still is that annoying thing where the NPCs take over control of the game temporarily to tell you obnoxious shit. Hi! Alright, now... Now is when we start aggressively moving up. And not stepping in the fire. Stepping in the fire would hurt. You need to reload. Can you get to heavy cover anywhere? Good? No? Alright. Okay, you can double move, though. Yeah. Alright, you can double move up to there. Because you've got most of your ammo. You are in overwatch. Just keep the sectoid in place. And you... Probably. Hmm, where do I want you to move to, actually? Nah, you can just stay there. I don't know where the other two sectoids are just yet. You're gonna reload. The sectoid can't see you from where he is. And he's not gonna move while he's being overwatched. Perfect. And now, you can be an absolute bastard to him. Hello, friend. Pew! Perfect. Alright. Now, let's keep moving up. Keep on keeping on. Where can you move to? Alright. You can get up there. There's a decent chance they're actually in the back alley, out behind the building. So I'll have these guys check out that. Fujiwara and Becker. And you guys are going to keep checking through the rest of the building. On Nakagawa. Oh, there they are. Speak to the devil. Alien life on Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen and recorded history. Okay, yeah. Sometimes the 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 NPC like voice prompt things don't really activate at the correct times. She's supposed to say that the first time you see the sectoids, not you know when you've already killed a bunch of them. Alright, 
so they went out that door, so they're out there, currently. And those should be the last two. So you guys are gonna get up here. Crack that door open for me. You're gonna overwatch. You guys are going for the other door. So they're gonna have to double time their way over there. So they're pretty far away, and I'm not actually super worried about the sectoids like shooting them from all the way over there. Yep, they're doing their buff thing. Actually, you guys both have a kill, so I'm gonna let Becker and Fujiwara, Fujiwara be the flanky team. Yep, they are in fact right there. Yes, there is. There's something out there. Can you get to there? Nope. Alright. You can get up to the store. Get the door open. There you go. Overwatch. Becker, 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 Becker. Okay. Becker's gonna run out to there. So I think I can get him out to behind that, like, weird alien pod thingy. And from there, he can probably flank. You're gonna reload while you get a chance. You're gonna overwatch in case they try something dumb. Which there's always a possibility of. Oh. And he's buffing. Okay, so there's one right next to the door. You should be able to get. Can you in fact get behind there? But before we do that. Fujora. That one's probably overwatching. I don't want to kill the one who's mind control, who's mind melting, because that would give Fujimura both kills, and I want Becker to get one of the kills so that everybody will get a level up. Ah, damn it! Dead and gone. Damn it! Right, let's see if we can't keep him there. He's probably going to try and back off into cover, unfortunately, which is going to make this tricky for me. Okay, well, Becker, you get a second chance. Come on, Becker, make me proud. There we go. All right, that should be the end of the mission. X-ray down. Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. The labs are on high alert. Standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts All right, there you immediately. Go. So that is XCOM Enemy Unknown. I'm gonna keep playing this. Um, hopefully, beat it, assuming nothing else, you know comes up. Um, it is in marathon, so it might take me a while, but we'll see how it goes. Anyways, um, that's all for today. So, thank you all so much for watching, and good night.